Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to talk about all my favorite things. So if you want to know what I like, keep watching. So the very first favorite thing that I have, and if you follow my channel, you could probably guess what it is. That's right, friction pens. I love these little buggers. Um, they come in so many different colors, so many different styles and weights. I'm showing here, this is one with the cap. This is a fine point um, or ultra fine maybe, like a 0.5 point. Um, it has uh, these which are kind of like um, fine liners but more, more like a marker. So we have these, they have highlighters, they have actual fine liners, this is a fine liner. They have these jelly sticks that are a little bit thicker and clickable. They have all different ones and all different weights. So I love these pens and the main reason why of course is the friction is because it erases with friction, the pen erases clean. So it's pretty awesome you guys. Um, I can show you a little example using one of these pens here. So basically you're writing and you're like blah 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 and oh you messed up and you want it to go away. Just do a little shake 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 and voila it's gone. Love these. Love these love these love these. Um, I talk about them pretty much in every video I do because I do think they're so invaluable to my planning and to everyone's planning if you are like me and you don't like a messy planner. So friction pens are my very first must have favorite thing for my planner. And I'm showing you the different styles. The one that lives in my planner is this guy here. I like the, to keep a black one in here. I like this clickable one, but I've also used ones here with the cap. I like the 0.5 weight or 0.5 weight the best for me. Um, I like a little bit thinner line. So friction pens, you guys, if um, you're looking for a great pen that erases, check these out. Okay, so the next thing that is one of my favorite, favorite things for my planner are dashboards. Now, dashboard is a word that is used throughout the planner community in multiple ways to describe different layouts, um, even some things that look more like covers, things that you put stickies on. So um, dashboards for me, when I'm referring to dashboards, are these top tabs here. And a lot of the Happy Planner accessories, when they, um, the ones that they sell like these, they are called dashboards. These are just, they're just great. They separate all of my sections. I love them for Franken planning. And I just recently made a few dashboards in another video, which I'll link above so you guys can check it out. Um, but I made it here for my home um, long-term planner, which I've done a video on as well, which I will also include in this video, um, a link to. So these I just made for my planner. Um, it's a DIY, but they're just great because you can just quickly go to whatever section of your planner you want to be in and boom you're there you know it's they're just great i love them um it's like a divider but not and it makes it easier to navigate your planner and get to where you want to be so for me i love them i have my own personal planner um, divided up into sections as well so um, i've talked about this before but i have my franken planner with daily um, things so my normal daily calendar i have my health and i have my social and all of that is up here on um, the top tab. So when I'm ready to sit down with my planner and plan out my day or my week, I can just flip right to the section I need to be and boom, we're there. Dashboards are my second favorite thing and I really just couldn't live without them. So whether you DIY them or buy them, they are just the best for navigating a Franken plan planner. So the next favorite thing that I want to talk about are pen loops. 
These pen loops are from the Happy Planner. They are really like, they're just like a little sticky pen loop so they can come right off. They have a little bit of stick. I love these. I have two in my personal planner here. And then um, I have this one off of a, another planner notebook that I have. Uh, this folder's a little beat up, so excuse that. But um, I just, I move them around even. I've had these guys since I've been planning in Happy Planner. So um, a little over two years, maybe two and a half years. And I move them sometimes. Like I'll move this guy maybe down here. I think it was down here before. Um, or to another folder if I'm trying to reorganize my planner. And they still stick they don't fall off and they're a little bit fat um, so if you have a kind of an odd sized pen you shouldn't have any problem getting it in there the only problem is if you have like a skinny pen you might want to be mindful of that the way you place it in you might want to kind of tuck the stickiness closer in so that they are you know kind of a little bit tighter when you shut your planner but otherwise these are great i love having a couple of pens with me no matter where I go without having some kind of extra thing on there, like a pouch or, or what have you. I just like having these little pen loops and um, I my little hack to put them on the folder so you can move them around when you reorganize is great. It's been really working for me. So these are awesome and um, if you're looking for those, they are sold by Happy Planner and you should be able to find those at any craft store. I'll also link them below in the description. All of the items that I talk about here will be linked in the description as well. So, pen loops, yay. My next favorite thing is something that Happy Planner came out with more recently. Um, I, I would say like within the last year and a half, um, metal discs. Um, I have all anything that I am using functionally has metal discs. I tend to go with gold on most of mine but um, there are a few different planners that I have that have these like hot pink ones which was really cute on my little Miss Maker um, and then like I have the expander rings on my home planner which I showed you before um, but they're so much more durable. I started out with the gold expander rings but on the basic um, you know the basic plastic versions uh, let's see if I have some to show you the plastic here's a, a plastic one just for reference so I had this basically but it, um, in plastic gold and plastic and um, it cracked on me um, within the first three months. Um, I had a hardcover and then my full planner on it and it just it snapped so um, definitely cute as far as the colors that they offer in the plastic but the metal is been or has been the best for me and I just love the the sheen of it they all look so pretty and then um, just they're really durable and I don't know they're just good I've Looked into the ones that they sell at Staples and some other places um, that are like for the arc binders, but I still prefer the Happy Planner just for the, the variety of colors and the durability of it. Um, but yeah, so you can see here, like here's a um, a big planner with the rainbow discs on it, and it's just it's just pretty, and they're really just strong and sturdy. They don't really scratch that much, and so they just look great. So I really love the metal discs, um, have been invaluable for me for my everyday planner because I definitely don't want um, to have my disc crack on me so that I can't turn the pages or whatever, that would be horrible. So my favorite, favorite things are to have metal discs, so I've set up all my planners with metal discs that I can. Okay, so my next favorite thing is my washi organizer. I um, am so glad I picked this up. I was, you know, kind of carting around a bunch of washi in a little like box type thing. It was kind of hard to get into, hard to see. Um, and I just didn't, I couldn't navigate it well. So I didn't even know how much washi I had, what styles I had without having to dig through there. And it was just annoying. So when I found this, it was like, perfect for me. Some really awesome um, things about this is that um, obviously you can open it up and see all of your washi at once. 
awesome, so handy. Another thing that's really cool about this is that it's all Velcroed on, so if you don't need all of this washi, let's say you're going to a, like, a planner event or something, and you only know you're gonna be using a certain color scheme or, oh, I'm only gonna need my thin washi or whatever you're gonna be doing, you don't have to take the whole thing. You can just take one of those tubes and boom, you're done. And also, what I like about it is you guys know about buying lots of planner supplies. It's a problem. Um, so this kind of keeps me in check. I do have more washi than this, but I won't move in washi without moving uh, out washi. So there's the washies that I know I'm not really using or they came in a set and uh, you know, I liked some of the other washies better than I liked those. I will move those out and put those in my giveaway pile or my, um, you know, you know, whatever to miscellaneous use pile and only put the ones that I really love in here. And so that kind of just helps keep me from just buying washi willy nilly that I don't need. Another great thing. And then it's just, you know, it's nice. You, it all kind of tucks together and I could fit it in a drawer and I don't even have to, you know, worry about it. It's, you know, when I want it, I pull it out. When I don't want it, I put it away. And it's, it's just great. And it's, you know, not huge. It's just the right size. So I highly recommend this. This is from the Recollections brand at Michael's. And I know that they had a turquoise one as well and they may have another style now out. Um, I picked this up, I want to say maybe in the spring of 2019, so if you're watching this later, um, they might have some different styles out, but um, that's where I got it, and I, of course I'll put the link below in the description. So my next favorite things are kind of a hodgepodge of things, but basically highlighters. I love planning with highlighters. I've recently did a couple of all pin spreads in my health section of my planner and I've really grown to love the style of planning using mainly just highlighters and pens. It's really nice um, to have some different options. I get a lot of questions about these, uh, this brand in particular. I have um, like 10 of these, some in the fluorescence and then some in these kind of what they call soft, but it's more like a, um, I don't know, it's kind of like a bold color when you actually put it on there. These here, these pens that came from Daiso, which is the Japanese dollar store, and they have locations here in um, Southern California, so I was walking around their store, saw these, picked them up, and really, really loved them. And it's $1.50 pretty much for everything in that store, so I got a pack of five of these in different colors for $1.50. Can't beat that. But there are some colors that they don't really have, so um, if you do like colorful highlighters, another awesome brand is Mild Liner by Zebra. And these ones here are dual tipped, so you have um, a fine tip on one side, and you have the regular highlighter on the other. So these can be found pretty much anywhere on Amazon and uh, Michaels. Um, these ones here are, are a little bit harder to find. You kind of need to have a Daiso near you, um, or, I mean, you might be able to find them online, but they're a lot harder to get a hold of. But I'll just kind of give you a little example of how they look. So like this one here, it's got this kind of um, orangey red. We've got like, um, more of an orangey yellow and um, I have other colors too I think I have blue green um, a whole set blue green gray in this tone and then and there's a whole another set of fluorescent versions but these like the mild liners they have fluorescence too but they also have these kind of more bold colors and they're just really great for adding some color and pizzazz to your spread and I, I really have started using them a lot and I really love them and I'm really glad that I picked them up. I didn't really start off using them a lot, so just trying them with the all pin spreads has really helped me kind of see. And then there's been a lot of awesome planner babes out there using um, kind of mainly highlighter spreads and just giving tons of ideas on Instagram. So um, yeah, so these have 
quickly become one of my favorite things and um, I highly suggest you have a Daiso near you, stop by, see if you can have, pick up a set of those and then also obviously mild liners which are very popular. Okay, so one other awesome little um, item that is kind of a surprise item, I don't have something sticky on there, is this pen. And it is a jelly roll pen, which um, I'm not sure, I think the brand is Sakura. It's a Japanese pen, which the Japanese have it on lock, I guess, with the pens, because I think pretty much every pen I talked about today is uh, Japanese in origin. Um, but anyway, so, or the company is Japanese. These jelly roll pens are um, kind of deceiving. So these are great for actual, like using them as whiteout. So I love this, using this as a whiteout type of thing. Just as an example, if you are doing a spread and you have a line, or some small area that you don't want to show behind like a sticker you can basically just kind of use this pen because the pen ink is opaque very similar to like a dry liner or a whiteout if you will so it works really good for that it's also really great for writing on top of uh, highlighting or something like a darker color so if you wanted to write over it you kind of have this cool, um, you know, white overlay of text instead of doing it in just black. Um, great for darker colors, especially if you're using it like with highlighters there, or even um, I've seen people use these for lettering to kind of add a little bit of a bubbly type thing to the lettering. All great. I use it mainly for whiteout, um, uh, just to have it on hand, but I have used it in this uh, context too where I'm writing over color or on top of a label that's dark um, but it's a really awesome little handy tool to have in your bag just for planning multi-purpose planning and I really love these so um, yeah pick one of these guys up you can get those at you know all those craft stores you can order it online jelly roll and they have different weights of this too I believe this one here is says 08, but I think they have some that are thicker and thinner as well. But this one works great for like these fine lines and uh, smaller areas. Okay, last but certainly not least, one of my absolute favorite things is hard covers, snap-on hard covers in particular. So. Happy Planner has a multitude of these um, in different styles. I've seen them all the craft stores. Um, I picked this guy up recently at the warehouse sale that they had a few months ago. Um, and I haven't even used it, so it looks brand spanking new. But I've had this version for quite a while, the black quilted. And I went ahead and made a notebook out of this guy. Um, which was, you know, because I bought two of these because I really love them that much. And so I, this one broke. I don't know if you guys can see because I pulled it up too hard, but I just went ahead and made it into like a little notebook for work. These are great when you want to say, go, um, say I wanted to take this planner on the go. Uh, I was just recently traveling in Hawaii and I wanted to take my planner on the plane with me, but I didn't want it to get, you know, all Kind of you know scrunched up or you know i wanted to protect it so while it was packed away it wasn't going to get messed up so what i do is i basically would just snap on get on there my plan is a little bit fat so and these are fresh so ugh, we'll see if i can get it in there but yeah it's going to be difficult on me hold on a second okay yeah it's a lot easier when it's a little bit when you have a little bit more freedom on your on your um, size of your planner but basically yes so I just snapped this guy on and then I could take it with me on the plane and I felt like my cover and everything was protected and there was no worries about it so I really like these for protecting the covers for just kind of giving you a nice clean look to your planner I used to commute to work and so I would have a hardcover on all the time because it was always in and out of my bag 
and um, I used this black quilted one. So yeah, it was just, it was really nice to have that option. And then if you don't need the option for some reason, like let's say, you know, like me, I stopped commuting, so I don't need it anymore. It's just easy to snap it on and also take it off. I'm gonna go slow because that's how I broke the other one. I just try to like snap it up real quick. There we go. So yeah, warming it up a little bit. But these are great. So hard covers, um, and they're not that expensive. I wanna say maybe $15, maybe. Might even be cheaper than that. Um, to get these at the store, if you have a coupon, even cheaper. These I got actually for like two for $3, so you can't beat that. So keep an eye out for those kind of deals when you can, but yeah, so I love hard um, covers for that reason, more than even the deluxe cover, just because it keeps it still kind of compact. You don't have this big bulky thing, but you've got all of your planner there and protected. And okay, friends, that is all of my favorite planner things. There are some honorable mentions, tweezers, and, you know, other, like, tools of the trade, rulers and things. Um, but basically, as far as my favorite, favorite things, these are it. So, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up down below. And go ahead and leave me a comment if you'd like to get in touch. And think about subscribing to my channel if you haven't already, if you'd like to see more of my videos. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye!